denotes four weeks condensed into a song. Set in the backyard, Julio and Judy, dressed in winter clothing, are shoveling snow, stage right and stage left. Maya and Mateo sit on opposite sides in the jacuzzi, studying their cell phones. After the song has begun, Stan, Steve, and Sarah enter. Each carries a pail of snowballs. Stan and Steve are now masquerading as each other. Stan, I get one more TTYL smiley face from Stan. I'm going to scream. Shit, you two. At least you got a smiley face. Steve's gone dark. What the hell's going on here? I wish I knew. No one is talking to anyone else. The last four weeks have come and gone, and I haven't had the urge to sing a holiday song. Nothing seems to know about the way I feel. And no. 
I thought we were gonna stay home with Dad and watch the ball drop on TV. Change of plans. I hate fucking ties. He throws the tie across the room. Well, do you own any that don't fuck? Uh-huh. <laughs> he stands there looking helpless. Let she picks up the tie and crosses to him. Let me. She ties the tie on him. You know, my uh, That I wanna beat the shit out of him Cause I know he won't let me be who I am He thinks that's the only way to live my life If I'm to survive, I have to give in To another day of being him So he's the guy everyone thinks is okay And none of them will ever know he's gay But I am gay Lights cross, fades left. Stan is deep. Stan is flying around the room, frantically dressing. Uh, uh, he's sitting on a chair reading the newspaper and holding your green tie in his hand. Where's the tie? Where's the fucking green tie? Ah, 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 great fucking tie. Okay, now I'm gonna hang you with it. I'm already hung. Uh, <laughs> green is not my color. He struggles to tie the tie. Uh, can I have a little help? Yeah, no problem, Mo, senor. He calmly ties the tie on Stan. Now, you remember the routine, right? <clears throat> yeah. I can't believe you actually get paid for this shit. <laughs> Have you ever... Why can't you be so... Why... Uh, how can you be so calm? Playing you this entire month driving me crazy. I thought you were the actor. I am, but I need a stage. This reality TV we're living in has been on the verge of a nervous breakdown.
Maya, what's the matter? Oh, Mrs. McCormick, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Stan just... There, there, stop worrying. Stan will come around, just you wait and see. Steve enters unseen and hides behind the jacuzzi. I don't think so. He wants me to, to get rid of him. Stanley said that? It's like he's someone else. He won't talk to me anymore. We're like strangers. You know, he's very fond of Matt. Get Matt to talk to him. Matt's got issues with Steve. Okay, Maya. Look, desperate times call for desperate measures. I've got an idea. Maybe it's not exactly kosher, but then we're Irish. <laughs> Steve is alone. <laughs> Steve! Steve! He runs after him. Steve and Sarah are shocked. 
Stan sneaks up from off right. So do I get the Academy Award or what? Fuck, <laughs> oh, <it> scared me. <laughs> get out! Here comes Mom. Let's beat it. All right, Maya, the coast is clear. <laughs> oh, I bet Julio, I, your dad, wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Maya enters. She is made up and dressed to look exactly like Mateo. I don't know, Mrs. McCormick. I mean, what about my voice? Why don't you sort of lower it? Like this. Hi, my name's Matt. What's yours? Hi, my name's Matt. What's yours? <laughs> look, it's a bar. Crowded and noisy. No one will notice. Get Stan alone and let him do the talking. I'm scared. Of what? It's now or never. Go for it. Thanks. Mom. They hop in my exit as the tail enters. Hey, Mrs. McCormick, has Stan left for work yet? You just missed him. Damn. Uh, can I ask you a personal question, Mrs. McCormick? Of course, Maddie. What's bothering you? Have you noticed anything odd about Steve lately? To tell you the truth, Maddie, no one seems to be themselves lately. I know. Maya and Stan have been at each other's throats. But I thought Steve and I were okay. Have you talked to Steve? Yeah, he hates me. Now, Mateo Gonzalez, he doesn't hate you, he's just confused. Yeah, that's right, he's just confused. Maddie, me boy, desperate times call for desperate measures. I've got an idea. They exit. Lights cross fade to scene 11. A bar in Greenwich Village, 11 o'clock p.m. Stan is bartending. Steve and a waitress are busy waiting on the customers. Oh, 
is 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 what I'm trying to say. Um, you see, Stan Stan's not out. Okay, not yet. I mean, he wants to be out um, because he's gay, Maya, um, and he's. I mean, I'm I'm in love with your brother. Lily Palooza, drag queen, enters and dips Stan. Peter Precious, a drag king, enters and dips Steve. <laughs> okay, boys! Tell you about a time when we had to be invisible.
stand enters running from stage right, as Steve enters running from stage left. They freeze, staring in disbelief at Maya and Mateo, who are center stage. Maya and Mateo turn, look at each other. Stan crosses to Mateo, and Steve crosses to Maya. I'm so sorry, Maya. So sorry, Matt. We concocted this plan to make you hate us as each other. Hoping that you could learn to love the other brother. It was selfish. And stupid, you see. I'm Stanley McCoy. Stan crosses to Maya, places his hands on Maya's shoulders. I'm Stanley McCormick, now and forever. And I love you, Mateo Gonzalez. Steve crosses to Mateo, places his hands on Matt's shoulders. <laughs> I'm Stephen McCormick for the rest of my life. And I love you, Maya Gonzalez. Mateo leans around Steve as Maya leans around Stan. They cross to center stage. Maya removes Mateo's wig as Mateo removes Maya's mustache. They turn to Stan and Steve respectively. Oh, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Maya crosses to Steve as Mateo crosses to Stan. She slaps Steve hard across the face as Mateo slaps Stan. Of all the harebrained, idiotic, thoughtless, fucked up, yeah, fucked up ideas you two have ever had. This takes the cake. There are a million reasons for you to hate me. I would blame you if you never spoke to me again. Starting with me hiding being gay from you. And, but you got to know that I'd die before I'd let anything happen to our baby. Just don't lock me out forever. Maybe one day you'll be able to forgive me. And believe me when I say I did it because I love you. Okay, so you don't love me the way you love Steve, but I'm here, Mayo, and available. I know now isn't the right time, but one day, could we try? Starting over. Like, forget it. I can see it's foolish that Starting over. Fair chance we can never get by this impasse. Starting over.
changes to the backyard. It is 4 o'clock a.m. Maya, Steve, Mateo, and Stan quietly creep into the backyard. They begin to remove their clothes. Suddenly, the light on the Gonzalez's back porch goes on. Judy and Julio enter, arm in arm, in their bathrobes. Maya, Steve, Mateo, and Stan hide. Whistling, she climbs into the jacuzzi as lights fade to black. <laughs> 